Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, thank you so much for clicking into this video. Today I am here with another pregnancy update. This will be for weeks 23 and 24 of this pregnancy, which is my first pregnancy with my baby girl due in May. We are very excited and we are past the halfway point now, so if you are interested to see how I've been doing, how baby has been doing, and what's going on here, go ahead and keep watching. So jumping right into it, I am 24 weeks and three days, I think, um, and the baby is the size of a cantaloupe according to my bump app. So this is the app I use and a lot of people ask me about this app when I post on my Instagram. They're, you know, they're curious what app I'm using and it is the bump app. I really enjoy this app, especially for the articles. I've talked about um, how I really liked like the articles that pop up with um, the bump app because they're really applicable to what I'm going through that like at that time, especially like sometimes like in that moment, <laughs> exactly what I'm going through. So it's like they just they just know exactly what's happening on that day with my pregnancy. So anyway, so baby is big, size of a cantaloupe and about um, a pound, I think, give or take at this point. So it said baby could be anywhere from like 12 to 20 ounces, which is kind of a big range, but um, yes, quite the little um, chubster there at a pound. So um, yeah, so moving on, what I do each week with my pregnancy update is I just go through and answer questions um, that I've consistently been answering throughout this pregnancy just to compare week to week how I'm doing, how baby's doing, all of that stuff. So let's jump into it. So the first question is, have I gotten any new baby things in the past couple weeks? No, actually I haven't. Um, not since the last update. I really haven't gotten anything new. We've actually been um, focusing on kind of nesting in our home right now. Um, we moved into this house about nine, ten months ago almost a year and it's not quite furnished how we want it yet. So we've been taking some time and some money to um, put towards, right now we're doing our master bedroom. So um, we're, you know, we got a new bed, we got a new dresser. We're, yeah, just taking some time to get our house looking like we want it. Um, but I do think I've picked out the rug and the curtains that I want for baby's room. So um, I'll probably order that soon and um, we'll be doing a, like a nursery tour and all that stuff as well. So that will be to come. Next question is total weight gain. I have no idea at this point. I stopped counting and taking note after 20 pounds. So I've at least gained 20 pounds at this point. Um, am I in maternity clothes? Yes. This is not a maternity shirt. It's just like a really big, I don't know if I can like, it's like a really big, uh, sweatshirt from American Eagle. So it has pockets and it covers, it's really long. It covers my bum. So I wear it with leggings and I'm super comfy. I wanted to get some workout leggings <laughs> bottoms um but i have a couple pair of leggings that are great for maternity um so i've just been wearing those because i'm not working out and like running as much as i thought i would be so i don't know if it's worth the investment um for me to spend money on maternity specific workout pants so yeah i am just making do with what i have right now I did get some new workout bras, sports bras. Um, I don't have them with me right now, but they are from Calva Clothing. I can link them down below. 
Um, they're just way more comfortable than any of the other workout bras, the sports bras I've had um, since before I got pregnant. I haven't gotten any maternity like sports bras because um, even these Kiava ones are not maternity. They're just a bigger size and they fit. They're just more comfortable. I felt like I was falling out of all of my <laughs> sports bras um, or like workout bras from before because I never had a big chest so I never had to buy really, um, what do you call it, like supportive um, sports bras. So anyway, I got some of those and that's been really nice to have when I go to the gym and go on um, like a jog or whatever. So, Okay, next question is, do I have stretch marks? And no, I don't. I've talked about this in my other videos. I'm not sure if I'll get them. My sisters didn't get them. My mom didn't get them. Um, I do have stretch marks on my chest. I've talked about that but they will hopefully go away like my sisters have um, postpartum. So we'll see. Oh, I did want to say that I use cocoa butter, just like plain cocoa butter and coconut oil on my stomach whenever it feels itchy or whatever. I don't put it on every day, but most every day I put that on. Um, it's just like plain coconut oil that I rub on there and then sometimes I'll do just plain cocoa butter and then I do exfoliate in the shower two or three times a week so that it helps to get all the sloughing skin off. That sounds kind of gross. But I honestly haven't been like very itchy or um, like irritated as far as like my belly goes, as far, like, as far as the stretching goes. It hasn't bothered me too much. So that's really nice. Next question is, how am I sleeping? And when I'm actually asleep, I sleep great. Um, it's amazing, I sleep wonderfully. But the past couple weeks have honestly been a little bit harder when it comes to falling asleep, getting comfortable, finding um, the right position, and then just really letting myself relax. Um, I've had a couple nights of insomnia really or where I just like I cannot fall asleep and if you follow me on Instagram you know this already because I've posted about it a couple times but I'll be awake at like 3 a.m. and sometimes it's because I'm hungry and I can't fall asleep I have to go get out of bed and eat something and um, I've had like two nights where I really could not fall asleep at all and ended up having to take a unisom just to make myself fall asleep. Um, just half a unisom, which my doctor said is fine. Um, so yeah, if I can fall asleep, I usually sleep pretty well. Um, but yeah, some nights have just been a little bit trickier for me to fall asleep, which can be really frustrating, but luckily I haven't woken up too groggy or tired in the morning. I feel like I'm able to still get through the day um, okay on little sleep. So I, and it, like I said, not every night has been bad. It's just a few nights that I've had the past couple weeks that have been rough. Um, but I'm still for the most part taking advantage of all the sleep I can get. And I've been trying not to nap too much because if I nap, it makes it harder for me to fall asleep at night. So that's about where I'm at when it comes to sleep. And I have not bought a um, pregnancy pillow. I don't think I need one. Um, I just sleep with a pillow in between my legs and then like a little wedge pillow like behind my back and that seems to do the job. So I don't think I need one of those little wormy crazy pregnancy pillows. So the next question is what is the best moment from the past couple weeks and honestly I don't know. I think my best moments are just when it's like nighttime and I'm relaxed in bed and I'm feeling baby move. Um, especially when she's not moving and jumping around in my bladder because that's kind of uncomfortable. But when I can just feel those little kicks, um, that's probably the best moment. I don't know. And just I've had a lot of good moments 
I've spent some time with Eric and we're just soaking in like these last few months with just us because we've been married about 10 years now and it's always been just us. And so I think I'm just having these moments where I'm just like enjoying just it being just us two um, because it's not going to, I mean, it's that that's going to be gone in a very short amount of time and it will never be the same. So it's bittersweet, mostly sweet just because we're so excited for baby. But there are moments where I'm like, oh, this is crazy that like it's always been just us two and now it's going to be us three. Well, if you count Poe, it's us going to be us four. It's already been us three. You know what I mean. So the next question is, are you missing anything? And honestly, I'm gonna say I'm kind of missing, like I love having a bump. I love being pregnant. So grateful for it, obviously, but it is tough to put shoes on now and it's tough to bend over. My bump definitely gets in the way. And sometimes I miss just being able to like sit up, stand up, bend over and not even think about it. So it'll be interesting to, like, when I'm postpartum, to, like, have that um, sort of ease again. But, like I said, I do love having this bump. Next question is movement. Like, what movement is going on with baby? And lots every day. Um, I can feel that her kicks are definitely getting stronger. And she was kicking, like, a week ago right down on my bladder but now it's more I think she may have turned because last night I sort of felt kicks on my left side more up towards my ribs not like all the way up to my ribs because I'm not that big yet but just higher than they were before that's for sure because they were really low the past week but yeah so that will be kind of nice I think I would rather have her kicking up there than on my bladder because <laughs> that was I swear I had to like pee anytime she would kick there. It would just, yeah, irritate me. Now let's talk about my cravings. I really haven't had anything as intense as I did when I was first pregnant in that first trimester, but I have been craving mac and cheese a lot lately. It just sounds so satisfying and it is. And the other day I was at a grocery store, just picking up some groceries, minding my own business. I had to walk through the bakery and I kind of walked past the donut section, not looking for anything in particular, but I passed these beignets that they made at their bakery. If you don't know what beignets are, they're kind of like a French donut and they were like raspberry filled and they had powdered sugar on the outside and I really wanted to buy them and I didn't because I thought, I don't need those right now. And let me tell you, I cannot stop thinking about those beignets and it's been a week. So if I continue to crave those and like dream about them, I think I'm going to go get them this weekend. Hopefully they still have some. Hopefully it's like a consistent thing they make in their bakery. I've also been craving avocado toast with lots of salt on it and um, Cheez-Its. <laughs> So I haven't had any Cheez-Its in the past couple weeks. I got some over Christmas. I did eat some over Christmas. Um, but I've eaten avocado toast a lot, almost every day. And I have been putting some spring mix on top of that just to give it a little bit more nutritious punch because <laughs> I'm trying to eat as healthy as I can. And not just indulge in every little craving that my heart and stomach desire. All right, nothing is making me queasy or sick right now, nothing specific. However, I have had a couple nights where I felt that little twinge of morning sickness and I don't know why, and it is usually when I'm hungry, so I try to make sure I'm not letting myself get hungry, especially like that early afternoon, or late afternoon, I should say, early evening time when I'm about to leave work but go home and make dinner is always that time where I tend to let myself get too hungry. So I'm trying really hard to keep food in my system and avoid 
those nauseous moments because they're just no fun. It's nothing as bad as what it was um, in the early weeks of this pregnancy, but I definitely want to try to avoid that. Um, so I've been doing a better job of making sure I am eating during that time and drinking enough water. Although water sometimes gives me heartburn, I'm pretty sure. But I'm so thirsty like I was in the first part of this pregnancy. I'm like so, so thirsty. Um, but sometimes I swear, I don't know if you guys ever experienced that, but I swear sometimes water gives me heartburn. Um, I'll be so thirsty and just want ice cold water and then I'll drink a ton and then it's like instant heartburn, which is no fun either and sometimes can make you feel a little nauseous too. So anyway, you got to drink your water though. So I just deal with the heartburn. As far as my symptoms go, I have experienced a new one in the past couple weeks and that is leg cramps. And I know a lot of women experience leg cramps in their pregnancy, especially at night. I haven't had anything that's like woken me up or anything, but in the early morning, I will stretch in bed. I'll feel myself like just wanting to really stretch my legs and then my like calves and feet will just cramp up really tight. And then I just try to relax and it goes away. It's nothing too crazy. It's not debilitating. It's fine. Um, I'm trying to make sure I get enough electrolytes throughout the day, enough magnesium so that I can avoid those. And it's only been maybe two or three nights or early mornings that I've felt those leg cramps sort of flare up, um, but really nothing too bad. And I've been doing yoga still, and I think maybe that's helping as well. I wake up every morning, first thing I do is about 15 to 45 minutes of yoga and it feels so good. And I do prenatal yoga specifically. I just do YouTube prenatal yoga. Um, I'll just search prenatal yoga, like 15 minutes or 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever um, amount of time I have planned for yoga that day, um, that's what I search. So, and there's tons of stuff out there and I have felt really good after every little yoga session I've had. And I do think that's helped maybe with making it so I don't really have um, a lot of leg cramp issues. I've just had those minor little moments. Speaking of exercise, if you guys have been following my pregnancy journey, you know I've been working out through my whole pregnancy and running, lifting weights, doing aerobics classes, all sorts of things. And I've been so grateful that I've been able to do that because I love to work out. However, I've had in the past couple weeks two instances where I've worked out. One time it was an aerobics class and another time it was a run just like a two mile run and both time both of those times I basically was regretting it later in the day which never happens usually after you do a workout you're so glad you did it you don't regret it you're just feeling great but I regretted it because it's made it like hard for me to walk and my feet will ache later throughout the day, which happens anyways, but it's more so after I exercise. 
and do do something a little bit more intense, um, like a run or aerobics class. And my hips kind of ache as well. So I'm just realizing I really can't push it much anymore. I think I'm past the point of really like getting my heart rate up and going for it. Um, not that I really ever did like go really hard since I've been pregnant, but I think I need to just stick to light weightlifting, yoga, walking. And if I do go to aerobics class, I really have to like take it way down a notch or seven because I just, I cannot push it at all. I just need to focus on moving my body with ease and I want to say grace, but I don't feel that graceful right now when I move just because my center of gravity is a little thrown off. But anyway, you guys know what I mean. I just, I need to take it down a notch and give myself a little bit of a break these last few months um, before baby comes and then I can worry about pushing it and going hard, you know, postpartum. The next question is, is your belly button in or out? It's still in. I thought for sure it would pop just because, like pop out because my belly is so tight, but it's just, it's still in and it's just really stretched. So we'll see who knows if it'll pop. It might not actually pop out. Whew. Okay. I am back. I am sorry. I had to go turn off the fan that was buzzing right above my head. Like the vent is right up there. I'm sorry if you heard that buzzing noise the past few minutes. My apologies. Anyway, moving on with this pregnancy update. So the next question is wedding rings on or off. So my wedding ring, I wear just my band right now is on still. I definitely have a dent. My fingers are swelling up, but I'm not too worried about it. If it gets uncomfortable, I'll get a new ring, but yeah, as of right now, it's still, I'm still wearing my wedding band. The next question is, are you happy or moody most of the time? And I'm gonna say I'm happy most of the time. Eric might say I'm moody most of the time. I don't know. Uh, but in the past couple of weeks, I have definitely succumbed to some of the frustrations of pregnancy symptoms. Um, for the most part, I feel like I'm happy and just enjoying this wonderful time where we get to experience this pregnancy and all that comes with it. Um, but yes, there have been a few days where it's just felt kind of hard, um, harder than I expected. Um, but you know, I am grateful and not taking a moment of this preg pregnancy for granted. So I think I'm happy most of the time. My poor husband though, probably gets the bulk of my complaining <laughs> about every little ailment or discomfort I experience. Um, but I gotta milk it a little bit, right? The next and final question in this pregnancy update is, what am I most looking forward to in the next couple weeks? And I don't really have one thing in particular that I'm looking forward to other than maybe our doctor's appointment. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we are meeting with our doctor next week and um, I love just going to the doctor because you get to hear the baby's heartbeat and just get to, you know, do a little check in and get your questions answered. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited for that. We do have our glucose test. I think by the time I do our next update, we'll probably have done the glucose test. So I'm a little nervous about that. Um, hoping everything is fine and I don't have gestational diabetes, but who really knows until you do that test, right? That's why they do it. So we have that coming up. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that so much, but um, I'm just looking forward to continuing to nest and get our house organized and decorated and just prepping for baby. It's kind of exciting, just, you know, all the all that comes with that. So nothing crazy going on over the next couple weeks, um, but I will keep you guys updated. Um, follow me on Instagram. Uh, if you want more day-to-day -day updates and I if I do the 
glucose test before the next update, I'll probably update on Instagram before that. So anyway, that is pretty much it for this pregnancy update. Let me go ahead and show you my, I'm on the bed here in our guest room. Let me show you my little belly. Well, it's not really like that little. It's getting kind of big. This is a nice big sweatshirt, so I don't know if you can see it that well, but <clears throat> this is where I'm at at 24 weeks. So yeah, it's nice and round. And that is pretty much it for this pregnancy update, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.